Thank you for taking the time. Hall County Emergency Management Director John Rosenland. What are some great safety tips for drivers in the winter? Well, I think some of the things we always encourage you is to first know the conditions, both of the weather conditions that we expect um, and, and the road conditions. Uh, and look throughout the entire um, road of your trip. If you're going from here to Lincoln or here to Des Moines, make sure you're aware of what the road conditions and the weather is anticipated to be in that area, you know, just prior to and during the time you'll be in that, in that area. Uh, so there's a lot of wonderful uh, resources on the internet, uh, the National Weather Service, uh, the Nebraska Department of Transportation, uh, Nebraska 511. All of those are exceptional resources for you to get current real-time information. Excellent. Some of the other things, uh, some of the other things we encourage you to do is make sure your vehicle is prepared. Um, always have at least a half a tank of gas. Um, never let it get too low. Um, make sure that your vehicle is well maintained. Um, check your tires. Uh, make sure that they're adequate for driving in snow conditions or slippery conditions. Uh, check the, uh, the fluids, the antifreeze, the oil. Make sure it's in, in good, proper working order. Um, pack a coat. Um, a lot of people pull out of their garage and they, they'll just shiver as they, as they head into, from their car into the building. But just uh, pack a coat. Yeah, if you don't want to wear it when you're driving and that can be uncomfortable, I totally get it. Uh, throw it in the back seat. Um, we want you to keep in mind that you just might be standing on the roadside in an accident. Um, what are you going to want to wear when you're standing at the curb? The other thing we encourage you to do is uh, to create a, a small emergency car kit that you'll have in your vehicle in case of emergencies. Certainly it should start with things like jumper cables, um, a small shovel, uh, a blanket to keep you warm, some food and water snacks. Uh, if you have babies or pets or others that might have special supplies, throw some of those in the vehicle as well. Um, a cell phone charging, uh, charger, either a battery or the cord, is very valuable. We're really fortunate nowadays uh, with cell phone technology, the ability to communicate um, in an emergency uh, much better than we ever have uh, prior to that. But just make sure that your battery is well charged, and if you're on a long trip, uh, take, me take the means that you can charge that battery and keep it uh, operating throughout your journey. Something also I was thinking about is um, a lot of times when winter storms are coming, and we kind of have some head, heads up on that a couple of days, we don't always know exactly where the snow and the wind will, co will come because that can be kind of unpredictable, but we know that we're going to have something. And so if you know that, uh, if you can predict the time of that storm, adjust your plans. If you need to leave early, leave early. If you need to delay and, and leave later, then please do that. Um, a lot of times we get, uh, we get caught up in thinking that I have to arrive at that certain moment that I had planned in, you know, in the beginning. Well, the weather doesn't care about your schedule. And so adjust your schedule to the weather because the weather won't adjust for you. Uh, what should someone do if they find themselves in a situation where they are stranded on the side of the road? If you're stranded on the side of the road, first you want to, uh, if you can get out of the uh, out of the roadway, that's going to be very important because uh, you don't want other vehicles coming in behind you and uh, and causing an accident. So, if you're stranded or you uh, or you have a problem, try to get yourself off of the roadway and out of harm's way. Then try to keep an eye on where you are, where you are at. Uh, when you're driving, sometimes we can get a little lost uh, on which exit we uh, we pass or what cross street or the road that we just passed or that intersection. Try to keep a good understanding of where you are at. If you have an emergency, uh, we want you to dial 911. And the first thing we're going to be asking is where are you? Now your phone can help you and can help us, but there are times when the phone does not communicate a very accurate location to the 911 center. And so the better you are able to describe where you are at, the route, you're between uh, two landmarks or two towns, uh, your vehicle description, uh, and give that information to the dispatcher. Uh, we encourage you to stay in the car if the car is a safe place to be. Uh, that's going to keep you away from the cold temperatures and the wind and provide you some shelter from the cold. Um, put your hood up. Um, putting your hood up in, in your car is going to make your vehicle more visible um, as, <clears throat> as conditions may decrease visibility. That could be uh, snow or blowing snow, 
we had a lot of fog over the last uh, few weeks. All of these things make it difficult to see you. So raising your hood if you're in trouble um, help makes, helps make your vehicle more visible. It also, <clears throat> it also helps alert anyone passing by that you may need some assistance. Is it the case that if the weather is bad, people should not travel at all? Well, we always want you to avoid unnecessary travel. As the conditions get worse, the necessity of traveling is, uh, needs to be taken into account. If I have a little bit of snow, I can go to the store. If there's a lot of snow, maybe I can wait. Um, we want you uh, to avoid dangerous situations. It's, um, and, and this balance, the risk, and there's a real risk out there. Uh, when conditions are poor and visibility is low and the snow is deep and the roads are slick. That also, um, the amount of vehicles on the road can sometimes affect how our ability to clear snow. And so um, allowing the snow plows the time to get in and clear that snow before you, before you leave uh, ensures that both you're safe and the operators are safe. Uh, what resources are available to help people learn how to be better prepared for emergency situations? Uh, some of the best places I've been on online, uh, if you go to the BeReadyNebraska.com, there's a lot of great information on winter preparedness. Uh, the National Weather Service in Hastings has uh, great information on their page. It's particularly down at the bottom. They'll have we uh, weather safety uh, links and you can get great information from the National Weather Service. And I would always have um, either bookmarked or installed weather apps and um, information on your, cell, on your smartphone that will provide you real-time information on traffic and weather.